You know, you get those moments in your life that like something happens and then you look back and think, if I didn't make that choice, where would I have been? Because <laughs> it was one of the things I just kind of like, all right, I'll do this then. And then I did it and it was the best decision I made. I worked for my uncle who's a diamond setter. I was a cleaner. He introduced me to, how, to making things in silver and making rings and stuff. It, it opened the world kind of a little bit because I found that that was the best medium to display what I wanted to say to everyone through my art. I always thought that my inspiration came from the world around me, nature, space, things I was interested in, and it's not. A lot of it has come from things I've experienced, which was new to me. And now I like fully accepted that and embraced it, which is why my current project is what it is. My title is better than the real thing. And my project is based around words, uh, more, more so adjectives. They're normally quite dark adjectives, so like broken, chaos, remote. My tutor said to me like, oh, you've picked these words, you've, you know, you're, you're having a hard time. These are the reasons you've picked them. And it was candid, but I really appreciated it because now I'm like fully leaning into it. The collection I'm making is my life. And the best part about it is, is that because words are so infinite, it means that my making is now infinite. I can make forever. My class got to do a gallery showing at CAA. And you get such good feedback from people on the private view and you'll get to see people who are professionals and then will genuinely appreciate your work. If someone in the industry appreciates your work, you know you're doing something right. I'm planning on doing a master's with London Met and that'll be in textiles. I've got so much out of here. It's been pretty amazing.